Hi everyone and welcome to your tech tip of the week. In this video we're working inside of WebEx and we're going to talk about how you can use the recording function to record your session and then share it with your participants so that way they can recap your session at a later date. So I have a session in progress here so that way I can simply show you how to start recording a session. If you go to the bottom of your meeting screen, you'll see the recorder button here. If you click on it, it'll give you the option to press this red record button and that will begin recording your session. So now our session is recording and I always think it's very important to let a participant know that you're planning on recording the session so that way they know and if they're comfortable or not comfortable with it, you can decide whether or not to record the session or they might want to decide to leave the session. That was just a simple way to show you how to actually start recording, but now I want to show you how you can find that recording and send it to somebody so that way they can view it later on. So I'm going to end this meeting here, and what I want to do is I want to go over to the main login screen, which I have up here, and I want to click on Recordings. So this is where all of your recorded meetings are going to be. And depending on how long your webinar or your meeting was, it might take a while to generate that video. When it's finished though, you will get an email letting you know it's ready to be shared. Now I want, since I really didn't do much in that webinar, I want to use a previous example of a webinar that I recorded so I can show you how you can share it and how it looks to a participant when they open it up. So I'm going to click on this Google Classroom webinar that I have and I want to go over to these three circles here and I want to click on it. This is the share button and I can share with specific people. So I just want to send it to the IT training at wagner.edu and I can also put a message in here if I want to change this or I can keep it as default. This is the message that will send to whoever you are sharing this recording with. So I'm going to click save. And the next thing I want to do is go over to the IT training inbox and see if this email has arrived yet. So I've switched over to the IT training inbox and I can see that I did get my WebEx recording and it's available for viewing. So if I click on it and I go to the email down here, I can see that there's a blue link asking me to play the recording. So I'm going to click on it and sometimes it will start your webinar right away. It'll start that recording so you might hear it right away. And if you don't want that to happen, you can quickly press pause on there. So mine did start playing automatically and you can see that this is an hour long, this webinar. And if I sift through it a little bit, um, the beginning is a lot of talking about what we're going to be learning. So if I fast forward a little bit, I can probably start seeing the content, the actual content of the webinar. So you can see that it did in fact record this webinar successfully and now I have it as a way to share it with this webinar's recipients. Having the option to send a recording of a webinar or a meeting is a really wonderful feature. Sometimes you have participants that might not have been able to attend, or maybe they just didn't understand completely what was happening. They can go back inside of that webinar by watching the recording and go through it to learn any of the points that they didn't quite understand, and they can also have it for later reference in case they have any questions. I hope you liked this tip and that you found it useful. Thank you for joining me for your tech tip of the week. Have a great weekend.